will believe that yes we all have consciousness yes but no one will ever say no scientist no philosopher will say that consciousness is energy so what is it then? it is like yourself it's, it's something it's, it's for you as it's, it's subjective of your of your of your understanding of your environment of your existence so I exist hence I am conscious if you look at certain philosophers like Descartes they have actually said this and this is what they define as consciousness but anyone who says this is energy they don't know what consciousness is so that's the reason I'm asking you that there are many people who would actually believe in consciousness but they don't have any evidence from a lab or from any uh, I don't know from any instrument or tool to detect this consciousness yet they firmly believe in it like the way you do like the way the scientists do like the way the philosophers do so we have to understand that we don't just live in a naturalistic world we live in a world which has got both matter and something which is called um, which is metaphysical okay so we got matter which can be seen detected we can know through uh, empirical evidence that they exist however when it comes to asking about things which are metaphysical this is outside the scope of science so you cannot go to some scientists and say okay detect how much love I have for my pet in comparison to how much love I have for my parents they will never be able to tell you because this comes as a form from your consciousness it is something which you can only know only you will know subjectively how much whom you love more your pets or your parents do you see what I mean so there are things other than just matter there are things other than just energy which we call the metaphysical the metaphysical world is pretty real and you believe it and I believe it something like an example I gave you is consciousness it depends what you understand of energy is I mean energy doesn't have to be something that you can actually, actually detect or define you can detect energy no, but it, I don't it, think there's I any said, energy I said, I said it, 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 it can be something that you cannot necessarily de detect or define then you you don't know if it exists then but, but it, if you cannot define it if you cannot if you cannot uh, measure it if you cannot detect it then how will you know you'd exist in it? No, but if, if you don't have empirical evidence for it you can't know, know it exists we, we know it exists from, from looking look around we know this is made of energy we know this is made of energy we, yeah, we can see all that but at the same time, give me an example of something which you cannot detect or observe through empirical evidence go on give an example your consciousness your oh, that's the one i gave you and i believe that's metaphysical not physical but, but everything stems from some form of, some sorry form. everything stems from so everything will stem from everything could stem everything would stem from some form of of energy which you cannot necessarily detect and, and who made that principle because i've never heard of that principle everything stems from energy where did you get that from no no I'm, I'm saying everything could be a form of energy even if you can't detect it yeah i'm asking you where did you get that principle from because because, because, because what? everything came everything came from, from, from an original energy source and what is that so that every, it, and it depends on whether you believe in science or religion. No, no, what do you believe in? Because you mentioned this, I want to know what do you believe in. We'll continue this. We'll continue okay. this thing. Okay. No, no problem. No, no. Thanks a lot, mate. Seek me out next week because I'll seek you well, out. I'm not going to seek you out if you I'll want to continue out. this. I'll yeah, please out. do. We'll Inshallah. All right. So, what's your name, by the way? Huh? Superman. Superman? Oh, well. <laughs> we'll continue this thing. Can you, can you show me how you fly? Yeah, I want to know how you fly. <laughs> Maybe next week. Okay. That's, we'll continue this. that's fine inshallah yeah. okay so yeah just to just to give a quick summary so the gentleman here he wanted to um, discuss about certain things in religion I asked him do you believe in God and he says uh, maybe maybe not he wasn't sure whether they even exist and then then I think it from there it progressed into matter and energy and about the existence of the universe so alhamdulillah you know this is something that we have to understand that not everyone is going to believe uh, what you just claim you need to substantiate what you claim so you cannot just say energy always existed and then assume that we will all believe it even the scientists don't work like that they need to substantiate they need to go through certain uh, peer groups to find out whether this theory that you believe in can be falsified or it is or is it true yes it's, it's, it's a scientific approach as well to look at things objectively and to look at it but if you are going to then depend on a tool like science to understand things of the metaphysical world then it is an it, it is something which science is beyond the scope of science it is like the example of someone using a metal detector to find plastic 
So it's a wrong tool for finding something which is metaphysical, and that is science. And this is where I think we have to understand from both perspectives that we have to understand the limitations of science and you also have to understand the strength of science. The science does tell us how things work. It does tell. It will never be able to tell you things like the origin of the universe. Won't be able to tell you origin of many things like the first cell and so on. Yes, they can speculate and, and assume things but cannot tell you for certain how things originate. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Oh, this one. This one's yours, huh? Right? I see that one. Sam Dawa, I see that one. Alhamdulillah, at last he got one. <laughs> yeah, he got one. <laughs> <laughs> You can cover your face, hide your hands, but do not worry, I guess. <laughs> So, so that's the movie. The side of the movie is actually more and yeah, it's more the religious people. They are Jewish people and they are Muslim people, but most of them are not religious, many anti-religious, many atheists. It's a massive subject. You can do one thing at a time. Yeah, it's a piece of I thought I thought